it's not your typical work grind. Obviously, when you get to see a ton of sparks coming right back at you, uh, it's a good time. Law enforcement officers from the Anchorage, state, and federal governments were trained on how to safely handle protesters, should there be any problems. You know, we have no specific information that we're going to have any trouble. This is merely preparing you know, hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Police Chief Mew says the emphasis here is on safety, making sure protesters are removed without causing them any harm. This looks unusual, but it's extremely well thought out. It's extremely methodical, and it's, it's really heavy on safety under some kind of difficult circumstances. Difficult circumstances that make it necessary for the use of saws to access protesters who have linked themselves together protecting their arms with PVC or steel pipes. What we try to do is to be able to gain access to that confined space that they're trying to put their place where we can't get to their hands. Um, and that's what we're working on right now, is to be able to practice to do that, do it safely and do it efficiently. One common tactic used by protesters is to chain themselves together using PVC pipe. Underneath all this duct tape is a concoction of fiberglass, chicken wire, even feces, making it very difficult to cut through. We're just getting ourselves prepared and ready to be able to handle, handle whatever scenario might be thrown out at us. The instructors here are teaching crews how to saw through material just to the point where they won't cut someone inside. Officer Carroll said there are visual cues to prevent that from happening. There's a color change. You can actually start to see a almost like a bluish color. Once you see that, you know that you've gotten real close. And then that's where we start to uh, throttle down on the tools that we're using, use a smaller tool that cuts a little bit less and then uh, it ended up even using like a screwdriver to be able to pry the rest of it out. Today is the second of three days of training. Tomorrow, they'll be tackling the piece de resistance, sawing through a bucket of concrete. In Anchorage, Eric Rubel, KTVA 11 News.